Hello, my name is Deborah Burnt Maldonado, and I am the co founder of Creative Minds Jungian Life Coach Training Program with my partner, Robert Maldonado. And wanted to talk today about a common question we get asked from people looking into certification, life coach certification. And the question is Do I need a certification? Do I need training? Coaching's unregulated. Can I just call myself a coach? This is a really great question, and um, and the answer is no, you don't. You don't need a certification. You don't need training to call yourself a coach. But if you want to be an effective coach, if you want to be a successful coach, if you want to make money as a coach, um, you should have really good training and have a certification, uh, most specifically uh, saying that you've uh, trained with an ICF accredited training that's widely acceptable um, in uh, in the public. So you have that badge of authority and um, and credential behind you that's going to uh, lower the hesitation for someone to work with you, uh, the barrier to get in the door. Also, you know, I see people that aren't trained as coaches. They are trained in other modalities, uh, at maybe a technique. And then they call themselves a coach, but they're not really trained in coaching and actually the the transformation that coaching uh, involves. And um, a technique is great to kind of, you know, work on a symptom, but it's not a process. And coaching is more or less about doing techniques, but more about asking the right questions, being present for the client, having the client understand and get their own answers to what is stopping them, helping them gain more clarity, insight to their own patterns so they can change them and they change their life depending on what their goal is. So having the right training, absolutely necessary. And I'm going to tell you a story. When I first started, um, I left the corporate world in 2003 and um, I picked the most intense training to work with people because I wanted to really get the best. And so that's just my my thing. I, I want to get the best training. I want to feel prepared. And so I took this training and then I watched some of my other colleagues and friends that I've met along the way that were coaches. They maybe took a weekend class or maybe they just call themselves a coach because they trained in some other uh, like technique. And I noticed they weren't as successful as me. And I think it, well, because of course, I, I maybe it was the mindset and my go-to attitude, but also the fact that I felt like I had a real system that was backed by psychology, that, uh, that really had a theory behind it that helped a client get results. And then I got tons of referrals because the more successful you are in delivering the coaching service, the more crafted and skilled you are in being a coach, The more referrals you'll get, the less money you'll have to spend on marketing and the more successful you'll become. So is it important to have a certification? Can you can you call yourself a coach? Absolutely. But the question is, is that what you want? And here's a better question. If you are going to hire a coach, would you hire a coach that has no training that just called herself or himself a coach? Or would you prefer to hire a coach? that is trained in the best way possible, that ha- is confident in their theory and uh, and able to deliver the results you want. So that's my question to you. You become the coach that you would hire and look at the program that resonates with you. Our program might not be a good fit for you and that's fine. I am invested and hopeful that you find the right program. I think life coaching is the most incredible uh, career. I've been doing it for almost 20 years and it's so rewarding and it's so it has so much freedom to it because you don't have regulations. You can uh, work from home and, and work with really high functioning people. And just it's just an incredible, for me, the most incredible career you can have is helping someone really discover their own true nature, to their own potential and, um, and have them discover it for themselves and just be a witness to that. It's just so amazing. So if that's what you want to do, the best investment you can make right now is get the right training, get good training, get solid training. And I promise you that's going to be the foundation for you to have great success in your coaching career. So take care, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and answered your popular question on should I get a certification and should I get training? 
Take care. Bye-bye.